The Quiet Place. The film opens 89 days after an alien invasion devastates the planet and wipes out most of humanity. The monsters are blind but have strong hearing, so they hunt wherever they hear noise. The Abbott family, parents Lee, John Krasinski, and Evelyn, Emily Blunt, plus children Regan, Millicent Simmons, Marcus, Noah Jupe, and Bo, Cade Woodward, go into the deserted town away from their home to search for supplies. They make as little noise as possible and communicate entirely through sign language. Evelyn finds medicine for Marcus, who is ill. Bo finds a toy rocket that he wants to play with, but Lee removes the batteries and warns him that it would be too noisy. Regan gives Bo the rocket and he takes the batteries when nobody is looking. The family walks back toward their home by following a dirt path that would obscure the sounds of their footsteps. As they reach the bridge, Bo puts the batteries in and turns the toy on, making loud noises. Lee runs toward Bo as he hears one of the monsters running through the woods. Before Lee can reach Bo, a spider-like monster leaps out and snatches Bo. Over a year later, the family continues to thrive by remaining as quiet as they can. Evelyn is pregnant with a fourth child. Lee has developed a hearing aid for Regan, who is deaf, by using spare parts gathered from radio equipment. Unfortunately, this, along with previous attempts at creating a device, fails to allow Regan to hear. The kids play Monopoly when Marcus accidentally knocks over a lantern, causing it to shatter and create a small fire that Lee quickly pulls out. They wait anxiously to hear if the monsters are close, but they never come. Later, Lee and Evelyn listen to a song on a device and share a dance. Lee takes Marcus to go fishing by the falls, even though he is scared of being out there. Regan volunteers to go, but Lee tells her to stay and help her mother. It is clear that there are tensions between Lee and Regan. When Lee and Marcus get to the falls, Lee assures Marcus it's safe to talk there since the sound of the river is louder than the sounds they can make. They are then able to speak to each other for the first time in a while. Marcus tells Lee that Regan blames herself for what happened to Bo, and he asks his father if he feels the same way. Lee denies it. Marcus asks him if he loves Regan and says Lee should tell her that he does. Regan leaves the house and walks toward the bridge where the family left a memorial for Bo. She cuts the wires of the toy rocket to remove the sound, but let the lights go off. As Lee and Marcus start walking back home, they come across a man standing over the mutilated corpse of a woman who may have been his wife. Despite Lee trying to get the man not to do anything, the man screams to attract the monster. Lee and Marcus hide as the man is killed. Back at the family's farm, Evelyn's water breaks. She heads to the basement to prepare as it is soundproof, but she steps on a nail on the staircase, causing her to yelp in pain, and drop a family picture that shatters. The noise draws one of the monsters to the house. Evelyn turns on the red lights for Lee to see, alerting him to the presence of the monsters. The creature stalks Evelyn in the house, but Lee sends Marcus to set off some fireworks to send the monster away. Evelyn is finally able to scream from the pain of the contractions, and she is bleeding heavily. Lee runs back to the house to find that Evelyn has given birth to a boy. He carries the two of them to the basement and puts an oxygen mask on the baby and places him in a box so that the monster won't hear him crying. Lee and Evelyn are able to talk as she has also felt guilty for Bo's death, saying she could have carried him the whole way. She tells Lee to promise he will protect the children. Regan, who was resting by the memorial, sees the fireworks go off and she rushes back toward home. Marcus runs through a crop field as he hears one of the monsters approaching. He gets knocked out when he runs into a tractor, but he is found by Regan. The two go to the top of a grain silo to signal Lee to find them, but the winds put out their fire. Marcus then falls through the roof of the silo and is nearly crushed by a metal door. Regan jumps in after him, and the two nearly suffocate under the grain. A monster then jumps in, but the kids hide under the door. Regan's hearing aid then lets out a strong high-pitched frequency that weakens the monster and sends it away. In the house, the basement starts flooding. One of the monsters hears the water running and comes close. Evelyn quietly moves through the water as she attempts to reach the baby. The noises from outside send the creature out. Regan and Marcus jump out of the silo and reunite with Lee. However, the monster is close by. The kids hide in a truck while Lee attempts to fend off the monster. It whips its claw at Lee and severely wounds him. Marcus cries out for his dad, which the monster hears. Lee sees the children and signs to them that he loves both of them and always has. He then screams to attract the monster and it kills him. Evelyn witnesses this through the security cameras. The kids drive back to the house and run into Evelyn's arms, all of them mourning Lee's death. They run to the basement for safety. 
Evelyn keeps Marcus in the corner to protect the baby. Regan sees Lee's notes and equipment that he used experimentally against the creatures. One of the monsters then makes its way into the basement as Evelyn arms herself with a shotgun. Regan realizes that her hearing aid is strong enough to weaken the creature, so she uses it to produce a powerful frequency that causes the monster's head to open and writhe around in pain. It rises up, but Evelyn blasts its head off. This alerts another pair of monsters, who quickly make their way toward the house, as Evelyn sees on the cameras. However, now that they know how to fight back, Regan turns up the volume on the microphone, and Evelyn, with a smile, cocks the shotgun.